Hello everyone, December the 19th, 2014. Sit right back, if you will, and let's take a look back. Over the year 2014, let's look at some highlights of our ministry and outreach to the homeless and a very special thank you to all of you that have done and given so much, have made a difference and touched so many lives in 2014. Let's take a look back. All right, everyone, a look back. Going back to January with the ministry. January of this year. All right, everyone, I'm riding in the storm of the century, the aftermath. I don't know how long I can hold the camera up here while I'm driving. There's virtually nobody on the road. I've got the truck loaded down with a lot of weight in the back. I've got a lot of winter coats on them out here. Coming home now from been out early this morning in Flint, uh, Michigan. And now let's move to January 23rd of 2014, this year. Now, what we spent at the uh, thrift shop, the Goodwill, we spent a total of $11.81 on our backpack. And what did we spend at the dollar store? $9.75. And that's going to total just a tad over $20. So for right around $20, let's see what we got. First, at the thrift store, we got a very good, nice, in great condition, very sturdy backpack. Take a listen. And, and who can forget this video when our vehicle for the ministry wouldn't start? Please, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, start. Jesus in the name of Jesus now a viewer of mine that seen that video in January where the old Chevy Blazer just wouldn't start and we had it loaded with uh, supplies for the homeless Randall Worley donates this f-150 truck to our ministry Now, that was a picture of Randall Worley standing next to the 1997 F-150 pickup that he so graciously donated to the ministry. Now, let's move ahead to March of this year, 2014. If anybody's out there uh, watching this video, I just want you to know that there is a God. Amen. Because he sent this pastor my way. Don't give up. Hold in, hold out, hold in there. I have to encourage myself sometimes. So I'm encouraging you today. Stay encouraged. There is a God. Trust him. Let him know Amen. that you believe in him. Continuing on, going back to March of this year. All right, everyone. Pastor Dave, and I'm out here with my ministry, and it looks like uh, something bad just happened here. I'm on Saginaw Street. Flint, Michigan, our prayers for this situation, in Jesus' name. There's a car upside down, and I'm going to see if I can do anything here. I'm going to turn the camera off. It doesn't look good. Moving along to April, April the 6th of this year. 2014 Sunday, 
And this is Jim on the corner with his sign standing on the uh, exit ramp of the freeway. Now I was able to help him with our ministry. I gave him some Bible postcards and uh, uh, make sure he's going to have enough money to get him something to eat in a little while. He didn't want to go on camera. I'm just trying to show you the uh, plight of the homeless. He doesn't have any means of getting assistance. He doesn't have an address uh, to leave, and uh, he's trying to get a bridge card. So I am going to get a, a hold of a few people tomorrow and see if we can help uh, help him out. And who can forget back in April of this year, Carrie and her husband Wade, who brought me this handmade pulpit or lectern. Back, and I want to introduce to you Carrie. A viewer and subscriber and her husband. And look what they have made for me, a lectern, a, a pulpit, and it's all handmade. Carrie, tell us about uh, what was involved in putting this together. We'll ask the gardener. We'll ask the gardener. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Well, they're saying open as well. We would have saw the book that members of the world played, but we can actually put it together for me with the big files. Wow. And, uh, that is so beautiful. Moving on along in 2014, it's getting a little bit warmer out, and here we are with Feed the Bus. Hopefully, it'll play in a moment here. This is in Grand Blanc, Michigan, where we provided food for families in need. I'm not sure if it's going to play. Again, this was in Grand Blanc, Michigan. Uh, and this kind lady here, she put this. Uh, here she goes. All right, everyone. I'm out here just outside of Flint, Michigan. And you're looking at a bus, a school bus. And today, we're putting on what's called Feed the Bus. Month of May of this year, here I am preaching in the park. Repent! Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Turn away. Turn away from your sin and put on righteousness. Still in the month of May of this year, here we are in Flint, Michigan, Carystown Homeless Center. <laughs> Now, July of this year, 2014, with the ministry. Good morning, everyone. Pastor Dave, I am getting ready to head out this morning. It is July the 2nd, 2014. I've got some clothes. Uh, really nice clothes to give out. Uh, my last bit of water. And now from back in July of this year, 2014, the salvation of Homeless Day. You know that you know that you have all your money in this community, but that God sent his only son that he loved this to this world to bring salvation to the 
of July of this year in the city of Flint. Well, the hard times in Flint right now is the unemp unemployment's up to about 20-some percent. Right. Uh, there's a lot of crime going on in the city. August of 2014. Gospel of John. Everybody. Here we are in August with our second annual Bibles on the Bricks, Flint, Michigan. All right, this is part two of our second annual Bibles on the Bricks. It's Wednesday. We're not going to make it to Tiny Chat tonight. I'm out here in Flint, Michigan. Um, like the Coney Island right there. Everyone's dressed like uh, the 1950s. We're out here, you can see. King James Version. You can see it's the King James Version Bible. We'll walk around a little bit. Some people don't want Bibles. I can't believe them. You gotta love them anyway. They're pretty mean of them. That mean spirit. We've got the spirit, but we got any love. September of this year with our homeless ministry, 2014, a look back. Hey everyone, it is September the 10th. I'm out here with the Jeff. Yeah. Jeff is the uh, gentleman I told you about that we were looking for last night. We were out about 9 o'clock in Holly. Jeff, uh, your situation, you're homeless right now? Yes, I am. And maybe you could tell our viewers just so they have a better understanding of what it's like and how did this uh, all come about? I'm sure it's not any... I'm because, doing because I was lied to. Okay. Uh, and here we are with part two of our Bibles on the Bricks. And this is actually Bikes on the Bricks, the largest motorcycle event where we minister to the homeless and to the biker community. <laughs> I had time to show more, but here is October, and this is Scott, saved a Christian uh, in the city of, uh, city of Flint, uh, Michigan, who was homeless. 
Sunday, uh, October 26, 2014, and I am here with Scott. Now, I met Scott, he was standing on the corner, and Scott, can we see your sign? Yeah. Uh, we're actually inside of Tim Hortons and Wendy's right now. We are located at, at the Tim Hortons restaurant. And finally, you gotta love Michigan weather, and uh, the rain, the sleet, or the snow doesn't stop our ministry to the homeless.